So, that Pikachu detective game was legit all along. Guess it's time to do some detective work. <laughs> oh, who cares? Just cue the intro. <laughs> So if you're active in the Pokemon anime community, then it's very likely you've heard the term more shipping. If you're not familiar with shippings, a shipping is the idea that two certain characters should be together in a romantic relationship, hence the term shipping. One of the more recent shippings is a more shipping, which is the ship between Ash and Serena from the XY and XYZ anime. More shipping is the first shipping since Poke shipping has the actual possibility of becoming canon, so today I'll be taking a look at why this is and what it could mean for the rest of the Pokemon series. I will also be discrediting all the major shippings in the Pokemon anime, so if you support a certain shipping that I discredit in this video, don't let me change your opinion. Power to you and whoever you ship, and with that, let's get started. One of the things that sets a more shipping apart from other shippings is that other female protagonists in previous seasons have moved on from Ash even if they possibly did have feelings for him. Let's start with Iris. There's very little evidence to the ship known as Nagai shipping, so it's pretty easy to disprove it, but like I said in the beginning of the video, if you ship Ash and Iris, then power to you. Moving on to advanced shipping, which is the ship between Ash and May, there's one thing that basically disproves the whole thing, and that is May's attraction to Drew. This is really a whole video all on its own, and I'll leave that for someone else to make, but basically, while May did seem to like Ash in the beginning of the advanced generation, she seemed to like Drew more by the end. I think some people confuse a crush for an admiration of a person's traits, which is what May and all the other female protagonists seem to have for Ash. The next main shipping is Pearl Shipping, which is the ship between Ash and Dawn from the Diamond and Pearl Saga. The main issue with Pearl Shipping is that the final high five between Ash and Dawn. While it was a good way to end off the Gen 4 anime, as well as symbolize the friendship between the two, it doesn't exactly symbolize a relationship, at least in Western culture. I couldn't find anything that said high fives mean anything different in Japan, so I could be wrong here, but this whole video could be wrong, so whatever. Alright, fine. Now it's time to address the Dawn fan in the room, Pokey Shipping. I don't really have any evidence against this because there really isn't any. Pokey Shipping was very likely to be canon while Misty was still in the anime, but as Pokemon's popularity grew, they had to continue the series and wanted a completely fresh start for Ash going into Hoenn, so they had to get rid of Misty. This all ties back into a more shipping in that Serena is the first character since Misty to show an obvious crush for Ash. I won't name every piece of evidence because we'd be here all day, so I'll leave most of that to other YouTubers and Bulbapedia. However, there are two things I want to address regarding Amore Shipping. One of the first major pieces of evidence to Amore Shipping that sets it apart from other shippings is that Ash and Serena actually knew each other a long time ago. So technically, if you think about it, Ash and Serena have known each other for longer than any of the other female protagonists. They met when they were very young at Professor Oak's Pokemon Summer Camp when Serena hurt her leg and Ash found her while chasing a Poliwag. This supports the shipping because Ash helping Serena caused Serena to develop something called Superhero Syndrome. Urban Dictionary, and yes I had to use Urban Dictionary because it's not exactly a recognized medical disorder, defines Superhero Syndrome as when somebody falls in love or crushes on somebody who is just being nice in their time of need because they have just gotten out of or recovered from a past relationship. This can be applied to Serena in certain aspects. Assuming they were probably about 5 years old when they first met, it's not very likely that Serena got out of a relationship recently. However, before she hurts her legs, she is lost and seems scared, and when she does hurt her legs, she calls out for her mother. Being scared as a little kid and getting out of a relationship seem to be equally as stressful, so this could easily substitute for getting out of a relationship aspect, but I'm not exactly a dating expert. As for the rest of the definition, it's pretty self-explanatory. Ash was just doing what he thought was the right thing to do, which was helping Serena. Serena was vulnerable at that moment, and Ash helping her made her see him in a positive light. I'd even go as far to say a savior, but that may be pushing it. The only reason she remembers Ash after all these years is that she had what was likely a traumatic experience for her. When a person has, or in some cases learns of, a traumatic experience, they tend to remember everything that day. For example, people remembering exactly where they were and what they were doing on a day like 9-11, for example. Alright. I'm sorry, that got dark pretty fast, but there wasn't really a more general way to explain that. On a lighter note, Serena also kept the handkerchief that Ash gave her, and it was probably associated with the memory of that day. When people bring up the idea of Ash and Serena having previous interactions when trying to support a more shipping, it's usually discredited pretty quick, but with this new information that I don't think anybody else has brought up, a more shipping supporters can say that there's at least a science behind it. Moving on to that other thing I mentioned earlier, this may be the end for Ash's journey. Now I personally don't think this is so, because they've built Ash up for 20 years and there's really no reason to fix what ain't broke, and there's no reason to stop now. Opinions aside, some YouTubers, namely KG Prestige and Birdkeeper Toby, have theorized that a more shipping may be the perfect way to end off the anime. 
The main point here is that Serena and Ash might be able to complete their goals of being Kalos Queen and a Pokemon Master respectively, and would have to stay in the Kalos region. Another potential storyline that makes sense is that Serena might become Kalos Queen while Ash doesn't win the Kalos League, and there could be a whole arc dedicated to Ash being conflicted between leaving Kalos to continue his journey, or to stay in Kalos with Serena. However, it's been noted that Ash had feelings for Misty, and might have feelings for Serena, so if Ash left one, why wouldn't he leave the other? My own personal theory is that there will be a storyline in which they both lose. My hypothetical storyline which could justify a continuation to Ash's journey would go a little something like this. Ash loses the Kalos League and Serena loses her final tri Pokemon, which would get them both pretty straught. Considering X and Y draws parallels with Advanced Generation, it wouldn't be unlikely for Ash and the gang to travel to Hoenn for Ash to take on the Hoenn Battle Frontier, much like how Ash returned to Kanto to take on the Battle Frontier there. If you look at the games, this actually makes sense. Oras had a replica of the Battle Frontier at the Battle Resort, which seems to be teasing that it'll be in the new Gen 6 games. This doesn't exactly work out, considering the Battle Frontier would be in Kalos in the games and in Hoenn in the anime, so if you don't like this scenario, here's another one. While the X and Y anime draws parallels with Advanced Generation, the XY games draw parallels with Gen 1, as pointed out by Tyranitar 2 in his Volcanion theory. What if in the next Kalos games, they put that Korraway train station to use and add in a whole new region to explore in a similar vein to Johto? This could explain why there was a lack of things to do in X and Y, because they were planning all the big stuff for the next Gen 6 games. If the next game is a single third version of X and Y, that would make it the 20th Pokemon game, not counting remakes. If they wanted to continue Ash's journey and make the next Pokemon games the biggest ones yet, this would be the way to do it. Whether a more shipping will mark the end for Ash's journey or not, it could have huge implications on the Pokemon games. If the Pokemon company has some kind of master plan for the 20th anniversary, or even the future of Pokemon in general, this should be how they should do it, and who knows, maybe I'm right, or maybe they'll surprise us with something we don't expect.